shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. <coughs> the Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to him, the dry land too, for it was formed by his hands. Come then, let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock he shepherds. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not harden your hearts as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my words. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Lord is risen. Alleluia. God raised him up, releasing him from the pangs of death. Hallelujah. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for, for his love endures forever. Let us say this, the Lord's redeemed, whom he redeemed from the hand of the foe. And gathered from far off lands, from east and west, north and south. Some wandered in the desert, in the wilderness, finding no way to a city they could dwell in. Hungry they were and thirsty, their soul was fainting within them. Then they cried to the Lord in their need. And he rescued them from their distress. And he led them along the right way to reach a city they could dwell in. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. For he satisfies the thirsty soul, he fills the hungry with good things. Some lay in darkness and in gloom, Prisoners in misery and chains, having defied the words of God and spurned the counsels of the Most High. He crushed their spirit with toil. They stumbled, there was no one to help. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He led them forth from darkness and gloom, and broke their chains to pieces. Let them thank the Lord for his goodness, for the wonders he does for men. For he bursts the gates of bronze, and shatters the iron bars. 
Some were sick on account of their sins, and afflicted on account of their guilt. They had a loathing for every food. They came close to the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He sent forth his word to heal them and save their life from the grave. Let them thank the Lord for his love, for the wonders he does for men. Let them offer a sacrifice of thanks, and tell of his deeds with rejoicing. Some sailed to the sea in ships to trade on the mighty waters, these men have seen the Lord's deeds, the wonders he does in the deep. For he spoke, he summoned the gale, tossing the waves of the sea, up to heaven and back into the deep. Their soul melted away in their distress. They staggered, reeled like drunken men, for all their skill was gone. Then they cried to the Lord in their need, and he rescued them from their distress. He stilled the storm to a whisper. All the waves of the sea were hushed. They rejoiced because of the calm, and he led them to the haven they desired. Let them thank the Lord for his love, the wonders he does for man. Let them exalt him in the gathering of the people, and praise him in the meeting of the elders. He changes streams into a desert, springs of water into thirsty ground, fruitful land into a salty waste for the wickedness of those who live there. But he changes desert into streams, thirsty ground into springs of water. There he settles the hungry, and they build a city to dwell in. They sow fields and plant their vines, bees yield crops for the harvest. He blesses them, they grow in numbers. He does not let their hearts decrease. He pours contempt upon princes, makes them wander in trackless ways. They diminish, are reduced to nothing by oppression, evil, and sorrow. But he raises the needy from distress, makes families numerous as a flock. The upright see it and rejoice, all who would wrong our silence. Whoever is wise, let him heed these things, and consider the love of the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. God raised him up, releasing him from the pangs of death. Alleluia. From the book of Revelation. A powerful angel picked up a stone like a huge millstone and hurled it into the sea, and said, Babylon the great city shall be cast down like this, with violence, and never more be found. No tunes of harpists and minstrels, of flutists and trumpeters, <coughs> shall ever again be heard in you. No craftsmen in any trade shall ever again be found in you. No sound of the millstone shall ever again be heard in you. No light from a burning lamp shall ever again shine out in you. No voice of bride and groom shall ever again be heard in you. 
because your merchants were the world's nobility. You led all nations astray by your sorcery. In her was found the blood of prophets and saints and of all who were slain on, on the earth. After this, I heard what sounded like the loud song of a great assembly in heaven. They were singing, Alleluia, salvation, glory, and might belong to our God, for his judgments are true and just. He has condemned the great harlot, who corrupted the earth with her harlotry. He has avenged the blood of his servants, which was shed by her hand. Once more they sang, Alleluia. And as the smoke began to rise from her forever and ever, the four and twenty elders and the four living creatures fell down and worshipped God seated on the throne and sang, Amen, Alleluia. A voice coming from the throne cried out, Praise our God, all you his servants, the small and the great who revere him. Then, I heard what sounded like the shouts of a great crowd, or the roaring of the deep, or mighty peals of thunder, as they cried, Alleluia! The Lord is King, our God, the Almighty. Let us rejoice and be glad and give Him glory. For this is the wedding day of the Lamb. His bride has prepared herself for the wedding. She has been given a dress to wear, made of finest linen, brilliant white. The linen dress is the virtuous deeds of God's saints. The angel then said to me, Write this down. Happy are they who have been invited to the wedding feast of the Lamb. The angel continued, These words are true. They come from God. I fell at his feet to worship him. But he said to me, No, get up. I am merely a fellow servant with you and your brothers who give witness to Jesus. Worship God alone. The prophetic spirit proves itself by witnessing to Jesus. <coughs> From a sermon by St. Maximus of Turin, Bishop. Christ is risen. He has burst open the gates of hell and let the dead go free. He has renewed the earth through the members of his church, now born again in baptism, and has made it blossom afresh with men brought back to life. His Holy Spirit has unlocked the doors of heaven, which stand wide open to receive those who rise up from the earth. Because of Christ's resurrection, the thief ascends to paradise the bodies of the blessed enter the holy city, and the dead are restored to the company of the living. <coughs> there is an upward movement in the whole of creation, each element raising itself to something higher. We see hell restoring its victims to the upper regions, earth sending its buried dead to heaven, and heaven presenting the new arrivals to the Lord. In one and the same movement, our Savior's passion raises men from the depths, lifts them up from the earth, and sets them in the heights. Christ is risen. His rising brings life to the dead, forgiveness to sinners, and glory to the saints. And so David the prophet summons all creation to join in celebrating the Easter festival. Rejoice and be glad, he cries, on this day which the Lord has made. The light of Christ is an endless day that knows no night. Christ is this day, says the Apostle. Such is the meaning of his words. Night is almost over, day is at hand. He tells us that night is almost over, not that it is about to fall. By this we are, we are meant to understand that the coming of Christ's light puts Satan's darkness to flight leaving no place for any shadow of sin. His everlasting radiance dispels the dark clouds of the past and checks the hidden growth of vice. The Son is the day to whom the day, which is the Father, communicates the mystery of his divinity. He is the day who says to the mouth of Solomon, 
I have caused an unfailing light to rise in heaven. And as in heaven, no night can follow day, so no sin can overshadow the justice of Christ. The celestial day is perpetually bright and shining with brilliant light. Clouds can never darken its skies. In the same way, the light of Christ is eternally, eternally glowing with luminous radiance and can never be extinguished by the darkness of sin. This is why John the Evangelist says, The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has never been able to, able to overpower it. And so, my brothers, each of us ought surely to rejoice on this holy day. Let no one, conscious of his sinfulness, withdraw from our common celebration, nor let anyone be kept away from our public prayer by the burden of his guilt. Sinner he may indeed be, but he must not despair of pardon on this day, which is so highly privileged. For if a thief could receive the grace of paradise, how could a Christian be refused forgiveness? Is clad in a robe, in a robe dipped in blood. Alleluia. Who is this that comes from Eden in crimson garments from Basra? This one arrayed in majesty, marching in the greatness of his strength. It is I, I who announce vindication. I, who am mighty to say, Why is your apparel red, and your garments like those of the winepresser? The winepress I have trodden alone, and of my people there was no one with me. I trod them in my anger, <coughs> and trampled them down in my wrath. Their blood spurted on my garments, all my apparel I stain. For the day of vengeance was in my heart, my year for redeeming was at hand. I looked about, but there was no one to help. I was appalled that there was no one to lend support. So my own arm brought about the victory. And my own wrath lent me its support. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He is clad in a robe dipped in blood. Hallelujah. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Hallelujah. Come, let us return to the Lord. For it is he who has rent, but he will heal us. He has struck us, but he will bind our wounds. He will revive us after two days. <coughs> On the third day he will raise us up to live in his presence. Let us know, let us strive to know the Lord, as certain as the dawn is his coming. And his judgment shines forth like the light of day. He will come to us like the rain, 
Thy spring rain that waters the earth. What can I do with you, Ephraim? What can I do with you, Judah? Your piety is like a morning cloud, like the dew that early passes away. For this reason I smote them through the prophets, I slew them by the words of my mouth. For it is love that I desire, not sacrifice, and knowledge of God rather than holocaust. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Christ has been raised from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Alleluia. The Gentiles glorify God for his mercy. Alleluia. Wait for me, says the Lord, against the day when I arise as accuser. For it is my decision to gather together the nations and assemble the kingdoms. In order to pour out upon them my wrath, all my blazing anger. For in the fire of my jealousy, Shall all the earth be consumed? For then I will change and purify the lips of the peoples, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one accord. From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia and as far as the recesses of the north, they shall bring me offerings. On that day you need not be ashamed of all your deeds, your rebellious actions against me. For then will I remove from your midst the proud braggarts, and you shall no longer exalt yourself on my holy mountain. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly, who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall there be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The Gentiles glorify God for his mercy. Alleluia. Lord be with you, and with your spirit, a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. Lord. <coughs> the disciples recounted what had taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. While they were still speaking about this, he stood in their midst and, the, and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled and why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see. Because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet, while they were still incredulous for joy 
and were amazed. He asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. And he said to them, Thus it is written that the Messiah would suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins <coughs> would be preached in, this, in his name to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things, and behold, I am sending the promise of my Father upon you, but stay in the city until you are clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, raised his hands and blessed them. As he blessed them, he parted from them and was taken up to heaven. They did him homage and then returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. You are God, we praise you. You are the Lord, we acclaim you. You are the eternal Father, all creation worships you. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, cherubim and seraphim, sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you. Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, Worthy of all worship, and a Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide. <coughs> you, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you became man to set us free, you did not spurn the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people. Bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. <coughs> Save your people, O Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise, praise your name forever. Keep us today, Lord, from all sin. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope. And we shall never hope in vain. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, constantly accomplish the paschal mystery within us, that those you were pleased to make anew in holy baptism may, under your protective care, bear much fruit and come to the joys of life eternal. We ask this through Christ our Lord. <coughs> Amen. Amen. Let us praise the Lord and, and give him thanks.
May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. 